Okay, so here's the theorem. I don't have the whole thing written down on the board, but I will go over that in a minute. Um, ran out of room. I think I wrote a little too big. But so this is the theorem. This is the remainder estimate from the integral test. So you're going to notice that all of these conditions are the same as the same conditions that we saw with the integral test. Okay. So again, it says suppose that we have a series, an infinite series, that is convergent with positive terms. Okay, so the only difference is now we, we're assuming that uh, the, the uh, series is convergent. Okay, so suppose we have a convergent series with positive terms, and suppose also there exists a function that satisfies these three conditions. Again, the same three conditions that we saw with the integral test. F is continuous, F is decreasing, and F of n is equal to A sub n, the nth term, for all values of the integer n uh, greater than or equal to 1. Also, let S sub capital N be the nth partial sum of the series. Okay, so now, with that being said, this is what we know. Okay? So, that means for all positive integers n, Okay, so, okay, of all of these conditions and assumptions are given, then that means for all positive integers n, okay, This has to be true. Okay. <clears throat> if we take the nth partial sum and we add the improper integral uh, from n plus 1, right? So we're going to go one more, n plus 1 to infinity of f of x dx, so we're going to take that one, okay, and then if we take um, s sub n, right, plus the integral from n to infinity of f of x dx, so if we take those two integrals, improper integrals, Okay, then what we know is that the infinite series has to be between those two. Okay, now, what does this tell us? Well, it tells us, well, the remainder is what? Well, again, so the remainder is equal to what? It's the summation of n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n minus what? S sub n. Right? And so the remainder then equals what? This is going to equal the, in, uh, the series n equals n plus 1 to infinity, right? Of a sub n. Right? And so this means that the remainder satisfies the following estimate. Right? So see where we're going with this? So we have this. Okay? So this must be true. So we know the remainder is equal to this, which is equal to this. So now if we put it together, well, 
That means that the remainder, so if we subtract off S sub M, right? If we subtract off S sub M from each of these pieces, then that tells us that R sub N, the remainder, has to be between these two integrals. And that's it. So it tells us that the nth This is known as the uh, remainder estimate. That's it. Have a great day.